an object is thrown vertically up at 15 meters per second, what is the height to which the object rises? What is the time it takes to reach the maximum height? Positive x is defined as to the right, positive y is defined as vertically up. So an object is thrown vertically up at 15 meters per second. Do not forget, because of acceleration due to gravity, its speed is going to decrease. The velocity becomes zero at the maximum height. So we want to know what is this distance and what is the time it takes to reach the maximum height. Before we start, what do we know? We know that at the maximum height, at this point, at the maximum height, vertical velocity is zero. So instantaneously, it comes to a stop. Even at that point, even at the maximum height, there is the pull of the Earth. So vertical acceleration, acceleration due to gravity, is not zero at the maximum height. So instantaneously, the velocity is zero, but the acceleration is not, okay? Because acceleration is not zero, what happens? There is a constant change of vertical velocity by negative 9.8 meters per second per second. All right, so what do we know about the acceleration? Acceleration is change of velocity divided by time. Change of velocity is final minus initial. Cross multiply and what do we get? Acceleration times time is equal to change of velocity. If you add v0 to both sides, we get v0 plus at equals v final. Acceleration is equal to g and that is equal to negative 9.8 meters per second per second. So let's substitute all those numbers that we know. So we came up to gt plus v0 equals v final. Acceleration due to gravity is negative 9.8 times time. Initial velocity is 15. Final velocity is 0. From which we get, we subtract 15 from both sides. So negative 9.8 times time equals negative 15. Divide both sides by negative 9.8 and you get 1.53 seconds. 1.53 seconds. So what is the time it takes to reach the maximum height? 1.53 seconds. So if you throw something at 15 meters per second, after 1.53 seconds, it reaches the maximum height. So we have acceleration due to gravity is negative 9.8. Time is 1.53 seconds. This is the time it took to reach the maximum height. Initial velocity was 15 meters per second. At the instant it reaches the maximum height, final velocity is zero. So if you know this much, question is, can you find the height to which the object rises? Average velocity is final plus initial divided by two. Final is zero, right? At the instant it reaches the maximum height, final velocity is zero. Initial velocity was 15. So zero plus 15 divided by two, and that is 7.5. 7.5 meters per second. Displacement is average velocity times time. So 7.5 meters per second times 1.53 seconds. Immediately you see that seconds and seconds cancel out. So we get our answer in meters and that is 11.48 meters. So our displacement is 11.48 meters. Is it positive or negative? Our average velocity is positive. So because of that reason, our displacement is going to be positive. Displacement is average velocity times time. So 7.5 times 1.53. Do not forget, time can never be negative. So it is 11.48 meters. Answer is positive. Our point is above the starting point. 11.48 meters above the starting point. 
For those of you who know, v final squared is equal to v initial squared plus 2 times a times delta y. So what is this? This is the final velocity. This is the initial velocity. This is acceleration due to gravity, which is negative 9.8. At the instant it reaches the maximum height, v final is equal to 0. v initial was given to us as 15. What is delta y? Delta y is the displacement along the vertical. So delta y is equal to the displacement along the vertical. So for those of you who want to use this as the formula, then you say 0 squared is equal to v initial squared, 15 squared, plus 2 times negative 9.8 times delta y. So you get 0 equals, what is 15 squared? 225 minus 19.6 delta y. So add 19.6 delta y to both sides. So what do we get? We get 19.6 delta y equals 225. 19.6 delta y equals 225. Divide both sides by 19.6 and we get delta y equals the maximum height and that is equal to 225 divided by 19.6, 11.48. Again, it is positive. This is George Matthews saying goodbye. Bye.